when Kia announced that it would bring the fourth-generation Rio to the United States, we were rather surprised the subcompact segment in which it competes isn't exactly hot here, and small cars have tight profit margins it makes more sense to concentrate on tiny crossovers that are more popular and can sell for more cash Ford seems to be taking this tack with the impending introduction of the EcoSport, and the delayed introduction of the new Fiesta in America even Kia itself has experienced success with subcompact crossovers with the sole Kia seems determined to stick with the segment, though. A Kia representative told us that, even though the use of compact market may not be booming, it still accounts for about 500,000 cars a year plus, if any manufacturers leave the segment, that's an opportunity to pick up some conquest sales. He also said that regardless of the size of the market, Kia still sees a portion of the car buying public that will always want a budget subcompact, and that it can be a good introduction to the brand. So with that in mind, is the Kia Rio a good introduction to the Korean car company? In general, yes, and we were introduced to it in and around Baltimore, Maryland, where we were able to try out a top-level Kia Rio X on everything from cobblestone streets to winding country lanes and at first glance, the Rio is a handsome little Mac and while the previous generation was round and bubbly, the new model looks more aggressive, and has a shape more akin to larger vehicles think the longer, more horizontal grille slender, swept-back headlights, lower belt-lined, large lower grille and jutting lip. The hatchback is the more attractive version of the car, but the sedan is far from ugly, which is no small feat for a subcompact compared with the European version of the Rio, and even the previous generation model, though, there are visual differences that reveal the fourth generation US spec Rio has succumbed to cost-cutting measures.